everyone, Dean Seifert here, co-founder of Bird Rail Smart Bird Feeder and the owner of the Wild Birds Unlimited stores in the Denver area. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to go through a quick assembly and setup video for your Bird Reel Smart Bird Feeder. First thing to do is make sure that you have your quick setup through the simple instructions of how to put everything together and get it connected to your Bird Lover Companion app. And the only things we're going to need today to assemble this are a Phillips head screwdriver and your mobile phone. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by putting the perch onto the tray. So we take the perch assembly and the tray and hopper assembly put the perch into the holes on the top of the tray. We flip it over and we've got two included screws. Put those into the bottom. Screw those in snugly, not super tight, but snug. And I'd also recommend not using a drill screw on this just because we do have two plastic components and we don't want to snap anything. And once that's snug, we're done with our screwdriver. Next, we're gonna put the roof on. This is the flip top lid that has the two solar panels in it. It also has a connector here at the bottom to connect the camera to the solar panels. We're gonna, first of all, attach the lid to the base assembly. So to do that, there are two nubs on the top of the roof, one on either side. Those are gonna line up with slots here on the tray feeder. I'm gonna flip it around here just to show this. We just simply line those up and snap it into place and then flip it forward and basically it's assembled. Now we're gonna connect the cable that goes from the solar panels down to the camera. So you can fish that out of there. It's this USB-C connector, and that just plugs simply into the solar panels at the top. Click it shut, and basically we're assembled at this point. So now we wanna connect the camera to our phone, which will allow us to connect it to Wi-Fi so that it's connected to the internet. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab our phone and we're gonna download the Bird Lover Companion app. So if you don't already have the app, you can go to the Apple or Android Marketplace and download Bird Lover. I already have the app on my phone, so we'll just jump in. And if you don't have an account, you can sign up easily with your email address or your phone number. Once you sign in, you're gonna see a list of all the bird, reel, uh, bird cameras that are connected to your device. I have several, but you may not have any yet. This is your first one. So our first step is we're gonna hit the plus in the upper right-hand corner. And it gives you a number of options to connect to. Ours is the BF11 Smart Bird Feeder, and you can tell it's that one by the solar panel in the roof and the design. From there, the app tells you to basically turn the camera on to the device, and so we're gonna do that. And to do that, we basically flip the camera forward. We take the plastic or rubber cover off the top that protects it from weather. And then we'll see the on and off switch we'll see the SD card slot, which already has the 64 gig uh, SD memory card in it. We see the USB charging slot, and we also see the reset hole in the event you ever need to reset your device. So we're gonna turn the camera on now, and we're gonna hear a sound. And that tells us that the camera is in pairing mode, and we can also acknowledge that there's a red flashing light on the front of the camera, which also tells us that it's in pairing mode. So our app now tells us when the camera is ready to be connected, you'll see an indicator light flashing quick and hear a sound, which we just did. So we'll hit next. And now we're going to scan a, QR, scan a QR code that's provided by the app. But first we put in our Wi-Fi credentials. So choose the Wi-Fi router that you want to connect it to and provide the password. And from there we get a QR code on our camera or on our phone, which we're going to simply display to the camera. And once we hear those three sounds, that tells us that the camera is connected to our phone and it can share the credentials to connect to the internet. So I say I heard a prompt. Now it comes to a connecting a device screen. And this usually only takes about 10 to 15 seconds for it to completely pair. And once that's completed, we essentially have the camera completely set up. Now we have the ability to change the name of the camera by pressing the pencil icon. So I'm gonna change the name on this one. And once that's completed, your camera is completely set up, but we have one last step here. We're gonna make sure that the cable that comes from the solar panels is connected to the top of the camera. The first thing to do is make sure that we put our rubber cover over the switch, because that protects it from getting any rain inside of the holes here. And once that's in, we simply just connect the cable to the top of the camera. And from there, it will start charging from the solar panels and then line up the camera so that it's got the right angle on the perch, which you may need to adjust even after you have it set up on the mount. 
which you can use using the app so you can see what's actually coming through the camera. Well, there you have it. In a couple minutes, we've got the Bird Reel Smart Bird Feeder completely set up. If you ever have any other questions or need assistance, you can visit us at birdreel.com or check out the videos on our YouTube channel or stop into any one of the participating Wild Birds Unlimited stores for more information. Thanks for joining us and happy birding.